Hello and welcome back to another video. We have an example here of single phase voltage drop problem. So we are given a load, single phase load, connected to a source of 240 at a distance of 300 feet from the source. Each conductor having a uh, 1 plus J01 per 1000 feet, given a line current. We are asked to find the voltage at the load terminal. So here we have a voltage source here, let's just call that Vs. And then let's call this VL at the load. So this is the question here. The load at the volt at the I mean the voltage at the load. So obviously here uh, you get some impedance and 300 feet uh, length of a conductor. So we are going to have some voltage drop across here, okay? So let's just call that VD. So voltage, uh, voltage at the load will then be equal, just by looking at this, if you're leaving a source of 240, by the time you get here, you'll get some voltage drop across here because of the resistance, you know, the impedance. So voltage at the load will be equal to Vs minus Vd. So you'll see this kind of problem um, in the PE exam. I'm not sure about the FE, but definitely in the PE, you'll see like a s example of a single phase and then um, a three phase. But um, this one is a single phase. So voltage drop then, what's the voltage across the conductor now? So Vd, I should have used a different color just to play with it. Um, so VD is then equal to IR, V equals IR. So we have a current here of 10 amp. All right. And we have an impedance, but the impedance is given per feet, per 1000 feet, and we have a length of 300. So it'll be one plus J01 over 1000 feet. Times 300. So if you do the math here, you'll have VD is equal to um, 3 plus J03. Alright, so then your voltage is equal to three if you convert it and then take the magnitude don't worry about the angle in this case single phase so we got a three volt of a voltage drop across here so however don't just go and take 240 minus three remember the key word here is a single phase right the key word is single phase remember this is a two wire single phase system, right? So the current will actually flow through the neutral as well, right? And it's, it's not like a, um, how do I explain this? It's not like a three phase system. So the neutral return current is equal to the phase current. So you have to take into account the return path, right? So the voltage drop through the complete path is gonna be whatever you have here times two, because you have to take into account for a single phase, the current will flow, the current flows through the neutral at the same time. So you have a neutral, you have, you ha you, the neutral return current will be equal to the phase current, right? So you have, uh, your voltage drop is really not three, it's actually times three, because you have to take into account the return path. So remember that single phase, take into account the return path. So then our VL is equal to 240, the source, minus 2 times 3, 2 times 3. So this is equal to 240 minus 6, that's 2, 3, 4. So in the exam, you will definitely see an answer of 234, but you will also see an answer of 240 minus 3. 
right? Which is 237. So you will have a multiple choice, 237, 234, you know, 240. Well, that's just to kind of confuse you. So if you have like a, you do your problem and you find, oh, I got a voltage drop of 3 volt, and then you forgot to do the times 2, you will get an answer in the exam, but you, did, you didn't do it right. So just make sure you read the problem correctly. You, you know that you're dealing with a single phase versus a three phase and take into account the return path and multiply by two and then subtract um, your uh, your source or however the question is, is, is asked. Uh, sometimes they ask you also as it, on a percentage um, level and we'll do some example on that as well. All right. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you.